of all of the carboxylic acid derivatives, amides have the worst leaving group bonded to the carbonyl carbon. Consequently, amides have the most limited reactivity in nucleophilic acyl substitution. Their principal reaction is hydrolysis, which can be achieved in strong aqueous acid or base, along with heating. Acidic hydrolysis yields a carboxylic acid, whereas basic hydrolysis yields a carboxylate. The acidic hydrolysis of an amide begins with a familiar protonation of the carbonyl oxygen. Although it may be tempting to protonate the nitrogen instead, the carbonyl oxygen is always the correct location for protonation because it leads to a resonance stabilized cation. With the electrophilicity of the carbonyl carbon thus enhanced, water attacks and pushes the pi bonding electrons onto the adjacent oxygen atom. A tetrahedral intermediate results, and it sheds a proton so as to neutralize the charge on the oxonium ion. Therefore, the next intermediate is a neutral tetrahedral intermediate. And this new species can be protonated on either hydroxyl group or on the amino group. When protonation occurs on the hydroxyl groups, the tetrahedral intermediate reverts to reactants. On the other hand, protonation on the amino group makes it a good leaving group, thereby allowing the reaction to move forward. Upon collapse of the tetrahedral intermediate so as to reform the carbonyl, the amine dissociates and the amine, once liberated, will readily become protonated as it removes a proton from the carbonyl oxygen. This renders the amine non-nucleophilic, so at this point a reversal of the reaction is improbable. Basic hydrolysis of an amide begins with the direct attack of hydroxide on the carbonyl carbon. Since hydroxide is a more powerful nucleophile than water, no prior activation of the carbonyl is necessary. And this attack displaces the pi bonding electrons onto oxygen to yield a tetrahedral intermediate. The tetrahedral intermediate thus formed will collapse. And most of the time, this collapse will be accompanied by the dissociation of hydroxide which is the better leaving group. And this will cause the reaction to go backwards toward the reactants. However, occasionally when the tetrahedral intermediate collapses, the amino group will be displaced instead. And when this happens, the very strong base that is released, the nitrogen anion, will immediately remove a proton from the carboxylic acid. And this deprotonation renders the reaction irreversible. This final step, the acid-base reaction, rendered the process irreversible for two reasons. One is that the carboxylate is now shielded from nucleophiles by its negative charge. And the other reason is that the neutral amine has significantly reduced nucleophilicity as compared to its anionic form. As a result of the essentially irreversible final step, the equilibrium is eventually shifted toward the products. In the following examples, N-methylpropionamide is hydrolyzed. When aqueous acid is used, the products are propionic acid and the protonated form of methylamine. On the other hand, 
when aqueous base is used. The immediate products would be the carboxylate and the neutral amine. However, the carboxylic acid is often the product of interest in such reactions. So it is common to employ an acidic workup to provide the carboxylic acid and the conjugate acid of methylamine, the same products that resulted from the previous reaction. In summary, amides, although they have limited reactivity in nucleophilic acyl substitution, are subject to hydrolysis upon heating with strong aqueous acid or strong aqueous base. In aqueous acid, the amide is cleaved into a carboxylic acid and the protonated form of an amine. In aqueous base, the initial cleavage products are the carboxylate and the amine. However, an acidic workup will also provide the carboxylic acid and the protonated form of the amine. The preceding was an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, a color-coded approach to arrow pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, or in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.